Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angel and today we're gonna talk about some horror books that up until recently, I've been too scared to actually think about, even consider reading. Some of them I own, some of them are just on my TBR, but I would love to read them very soon. And I've gotten a lot of recommendations from you all on YouTube and Instagram and I would love to share with you this little list that I have going. To be honest, I'm kind of confident that they're gonna scare the crap out of me. So we'll start first with the books that I physically own because those are literally on my table right here. The first one is one that's gotten a lot of hype recently, and this is Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke by Eric LaRocca. This one has to do with chat rooms in the early 2000s, and I wanna say it has to do with like murder and lying about who you are and just some very terrifying things. The back says it's sadomasochism, obsession, and death. A whirlpool of darkness churns at the heart of a macabre ballet between two lonely women in an internet chat room in the early 2000s. A darkness that threatens to forever transform them once they finally succumb to their most horrific desires. What have you done today to deserve your eyes? That's such a terrifying turn at the end. If you're anything like me or you grew up in the like pre and then into internet age, something about chat rooms and the anonymity, idea that there are so many other people out on the internet that you didn't think were there before. It's hard to describe, but something about this really connects with me on a personal level. Obviously this cover is also disgusting. I think, oh, Paul Tremblay. I believe Paul Tremblay is the first person I saw talking about this book. And so obviously I love Paul Tremblay's horror and I had to pick it up. Another book that I've talked about quite, quite a bit and I've seen so many of my friends read it. It's very well known, but it is Bunny by Mona Awad or Awad. And the biggest reason why I didn't want to pick this one up and I'm terrified of it is because of something that's very triggering in it, which is like some animal experimentation, animal death things. That is one of my only like big triggers in books. But I've heard that beyond that, it should be very interesting to me. It should be right up my alley. This is about a girl who goes to Warren University in New England, which I live in New Hampshire. I love a New England set book. And there's this sinister group of rich girls that I believe they all call each other bunny. And they all seem to almost like move and speak as one as if they are the same person. And I believe our main character actually gets initiated into this group and you start to see the gross, creepy spiral of what it takes to be in the group and to get into the group. There's like exploding heads and I think there's also a lot of death and things in this, but I think the biggest factor there was the animal stuff. So I'm really still freaked out to read this one. Definitely seen enough reviews to know that I am going to love it. Something that has become more of a staple in my TBR and books that I enjoy is the concept of like technology and horror. And that brings me to Ezekiel Boone's The Mansion. I read another book by Ezekiel Boone that was about like insects and like this gross infestation, like an ancient infestation that's been brought into the present. This is about a character who him and his wife move out into this house out in the woods, I believe. And they are testing out this AI in this smart house. And they're testing it out because they know that there's a bunch of glitches that they need to work out for their friend. But when they're out there in the woods, they start to realize that it's not really just glitches. Like I think this house is truly evil and trying to kill people in it. It reminds me of Smart House, if you remember that Disney Channel original movie. I think that it'll be much more relatable in the present, whereas like the other book was like the early 2000s, this will be more of like an updated modern sort of technology. But that's absolutely scary because it almost makes you not want to conform to all these like modern day technological like helpful tools. So that's the biggest reason why I put this one off for a while. The next one and the last one for books that I physically own is House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski. And aside from just hearing it's an amazing horror book and it's very interesting, very deep and a lot to uncover. It's also just terrifying because of what it is. So this is a book that has appendices. It is a book within a book, I believe within a book. And so you're seeing this person move into a house and they find journals or like scrapbook or something of the person that lived there previously. And they're reading the scrapbook and they're reading this person's notes about the house. It says it focuses on a young family that moves into a small home on Ash Tree Lane where they discover something terribly wrong. Their house is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. It's just a honker of a book. And some of the pages have this very weird um, layout to them where you're just like trying to figure out which part to read first and like I said there's also a bunch of appendices so you're just sitting there like what order do I read this in and then moving on to some books that I don't physically own but obviously they're really highly anticipated so I probably will own them at some point a short story collection horror collection by indigenous authors and it is called Tactumi and it says that Tactumi actually means in the dark it says there's a, a bunch of different stories and talking about how dangerous the dark can be 
there is a story about a zombie virus outbreak and there's also this story about a door that like beckons you to it and you don't have a choice but to go to it even though there's something terrible behind the door and there's also this is the one that reminds me a lot of i forgot the name but i will put the cover here um but it says a post-apocalyptic community in the far north where things aren't quite what they seem i think this one actually is technically a like older ya book and i forget how i came across it it might have been instagram or goodreads but i'm really excited to pick this one up at some point point. and the last one i'll talk about for today is actually called swallow this is by sam shill and this one is about a demonic possession i believe of a high school student um this is a girl named mildred who's very quiet and meek and she gets revenge i guess on her bullies and it reminds me a lot of of my best friend's exorcism by grady hendrix which is one of my first introductions into horror and it says the demon inside her is seemingly not too happy to fulfill her desires or of revenge and bodies start turning up with parts missing eaten as though mauled by a wild animal and maybe something darker and she quickly becomes unable to control the demonic presence that she's kind of taken in herself there's something about like demonic stuff and exorcisms and stuff like that that like my brain just can't wrap itself around like i other other types of horror i can make like a logical thing like a logical assumption about it and make it seem less scary but something about like demonic stuff freaks me out all right so those are the books that i wanted to share with you some books that i'm pretty scared to read and i've put off reading for a long time but hopefully you'll start seeing them in my wrap-ups in the next couple months let me know in the comments down below if if you read horror first of all if you do do you have any books that you put off for a long time or that you are still putting off because you're just too scared to read them otherwise if you have like one of these books that sounds really interesting to you maybe you'll pick it up let me know or if you think i should read one first i would love to know that as well if you don't feel like leaving a comment leave me a pumpkin emoji because we are like it's fall in my house it's i'm ready <laughs> everyone's ready if you aren't able to leave an emoji leave like a smiley face down there i'd love to see that you made it to the end of the video but otherwise thank you again so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next time